welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you have not subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and god bless biafra is the anambra state governor professor charles soludo is collaborating with the fulani controlled nigerian army to open fulani terrorist camp in newe north with the help of the Newe North Transitional Chairman, Engineer Chris Obiora, in order to please fake Buhari and the Fulani Nigerian government. And the terrorists were chased out of Enugu State recently. According to report, IPOB have said that the Fulani terrorist killer headsman chased out from Oji River in Enugu State has moved to some communities in Anambra State from where they will launch attacks on communities in the state. IPOB in a statement warned the people of Anambra State to be prepared for what it described as the invasion of Fulani terrorist jihadists into their state. According to IPOB, intelligence information at their disposal has it that Fulani terrorists, aka Killer Hesmen, chased out from Enugu State, mostly Oji River province, are trooping into Anambra to invade some unsuspected communities there. IPOB said that the Newe North local government transition chairman, engineer Chris Obiora, is the brain behind the influx of Fulani terrorist killer headsmen into the local government area. IPOB therefore asks the people of the area to hold engineer Obiora responsible for any attack by the Fulani jihadists on any of their communities. The Fulani terrorists, killer headsmen, trooping into Newe and Oka, who claim to come for business, are actually terrorists coming for attacks. Engineer Chris Obiora, the Newe North Transition Chairman, and his gangs are the brain behind the influx of Fulani terrorists to Newe North, these satanic agents being aided into Newe are coming to increase insecurity, kidnapping, raping of women, and terrorism. IPOB also called on the state governor, Charles Soludo, to watch the Newe North transitional chairman closely and be ready to take immediate action because he is importing Fulani terrorists to Newe. The group noted that Newe is in the heart of every righteous Igbo man and woman because it is the home of our internal leader, Dim Odumewu Ojuku. Moreover, Newe stand tall as a Biafran Industrial Revolution Center, providing a high level of employment to Igbo youths. Newe is a very important and strategic place that needs to be protected. Any form of Fulani terrorist attack at Newe will be a big blow to Biafra and to Ndibo in particular. IPOB further said that the Fulani stooge called engineer Chris Obiora and El Tabet Ehiri are using Anambra State Vigilante Group, AVG, in hunting and killing innocent members of IPOB. Since Professor Charles Soludo formed the Anambra Vigilante Group, IPOB have not seen these vigilantes chase Fulani terrorists out of our farmlands and bushes. Instead, they are going after innocent and IPOB Biafrans. 
Eastern Security Network and IPOB do, don't kill the Afran people. They don't kill people. They are protecting. They don't kill people, they are protecting. But those coming after IPOB or that comes after will kill the Afrans. And these are the Fulani terrorists. Engineer Chris Obiora and his cohorts should restrain themselves from attacking IPOB members or face the consequence. IPOB are not enemies. It's not an enemy and not their enemies. And neither is IPOB involved in any criminal activities. Meanwhile, IPOB worldwide is appealing to those having intention to attack Hausa communities in Ihiala local government to stop. Hausas are not the same as Fulani Janjaweed. Hausas came into Igbo land for business while Fulani Janjaweed came to conquer Igbo land. As our great leader Mazenam Dekano have said, that innocent Hausas are free to do legitimate business in Biafra without molestation. IPOB is not after houses, but they are after invading Fulani terrorists. Governor Soludo and every concerned Inewi citizen should be prepared and ready to confront the invading Fulani terrorists because they have perfected plans to camp and later invade the state. IPOB will be willing and ready to work with those who are willing to secure our land from Fulani terrorists and not helping the Fulani terrorists to invade our land. Not an inch of Biafran land will be ceded to the Fulani terrorists. And all those Biafran leaders and politicians collaborating with the Fulani Janjaweed in order to bring in their terrorists into our land to invade will pay the price for all the things they are doing. They will pay the price. Fulani terrorists are not coming into Igbo land for business. They have no plan for any business in Igbo land. The Fulani terrorists have come to conquer Igbo land. That is their primary purpose. That's their primary purpose. And that is the reason why their leader, Fake Buari, invaded Biafra land with Nigerian military controlled by Fulani Janjaweed. Their plan is to take our ancestral land, to grab it by force. They want to grab it by force and extend their community and extend their kingdom into Biafra land. But that would not work. They were chased out of Enugu and now one useless engineer Chris Obiora and his gang are now bringing them in into Newe so that they will start attacking invading our peaceful Biafra land. This will not work. Biafrans in the Navy should hold Engineer Chris Obiora responsible. They should hold him responsible if any attack happens in any community in the Navy North. They should hold him responsible. And the 
Anambra Vigilante Group should also be careful because the essence why they were created was to work for Biafran people, not to work against Biafrans. Even if the intention of the governor was to use Anambra Vigilante Group to please his Fulani slave masters. They should have conscience. The vigilante group should have a conscience and protect the Afran land against Fulani terrorist invasion. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.